That's one of my favorite things about the property. There's this creek that runs through here. It's absolutely just stunning. I think it's really neat. It's, it's, it says it's seasonal. And a lot of people say, oh yeah, it dries up in the it dries up in the summertime. But I've been down here five or six times now and I've never seen it dry. You know, I haven't lived here, so that doesn't technically mean that I know what's going on. And I'm sure other people do, but I've dug out crayfish from here and there's really large fingerling fish that are about an inch and a half to two inches long. I know that's not all that great size, but it's not really a large body of water flowing through here either. But it's pretty pretty constant. I see it's been like this for the past three days and it's not slowing up at all. And it hasn't even rained. Um, I think it's maybe the snow melting from the last couple of months and all this all that water is working itself through the the coal seams that are along the side of these mountains and stuff but I guess the point being is that it goes all the way to the back of that property and I can see it that it's it actually falls down like like a waterfall in the way 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 back so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dam that up and I'm gonna make a ram pump that or I'm gonna pipe that water all the way down to about just over there and I'm either one, gonna make a ram pump, or, or, and to do micro hydro. I think micro hydro is a really cool um, concept, and I'm really looking forward to trying it out. I mean, I've never really done anything like that before, but I mean, how hard can it be? I'm gonna rebuild that cabin over there, I guess, and burn all the other old buildings down, but I don't know. I'll walk back there tomorrow, and uh, I'll take a video of that waterfall where I'm talking about. We'll walk up there and we'll see if maybe we can tap that as a spring and you know build a pool up there big enough to let that water flow for a good you know three or four hundred foot down I mean it's pretty far it's pretty far down um, with that amount of pressure or head or whatever they call it we'll be able to run some pretty decent stuff off of that you know I'm thinking at least enough to get some water pumped up high enough on the side of that cabin over there where we can have some some water that's uh, got free pressure. I'm looking forward to that one. Or even just damn, not even worrying about using the. I'll just pump straight from that creek and because I'm not like washing or I'm not drinking the water. I'm just using it to wash hands and stuff like that. So I don't know. Tell me your thoughts on sanitizing water and using spring water and things like that. And I'll uh, I'll look into it and do a little bit more research and maybe together we can find an answer on how to fix that. So. Anyways, uh, I'll stop this one here so we can uh, get over to the. We'll go ahead and get over to the, um, the to the to the waterfall and, like I said, I'm gonna do that tomorrow because it's gonna. Well, you know what? I'll take the four wheel over there. We'll go over there in a little bit and uh, we'll go check it out now since it's beautiful outside. Okay, let's go. All right, so I found my son finally. We're gonna take a ride out in the back. I'm gonna let him hold the camera and. Uh, We'll just have you tag along on the four-wheeler. So here you go. Creek crows across like three or four times. Off. Yeah, yeah, why do we got to get off here? We need to get off here because of those pipes. And if, and if we probably try, we will probably sit over and get hurt back. Yeah, so we want to play it safe and not go yeah. through. So we just we just drove about a half mile up the holler here so we can see. But I mean, you see this water still coming and it's coming fast. This pipe washed out a couple years ago, so. It kind of washed our way out. So what we'll do is we'll walk all the way out there. Yeah. All right, I don't know if we can see up there, but there's water dripping down. It's not much. Yes, it's Let's not. Let's just walk much. over there. Woo! That's a lot of work, huh? We'll have to clean this out. We made it. 
pocket knives with us. Okay. Just in case there comes a snake, a bear, a coyote, or a wolf. Okay. Well, we're prepared, so we're good. Let's roll. There's some water down in there. It's dripping really hard. We will soon. And we're a couple hundred foot up a, up the top of this hill. Maybe a hundred feet, maybe. Something like that. I don't know, but look at that's a that's a pretty steady stream of water. So that's what we got. I wanted to show you because you I was talking about it earlier. Be careful. Here, can you stop chomping through the leaves so I can talk for a second? I'll try. Alright, let's get in this camera shot here. Alright, so we're up on this hill, about a hundred foot up or so, and I am going to set up a ram pump from here, hopefully going down. I can dam this up, I think. I can dam this up. We'll, we'll build a big concrete res reservoir up here. We may even go up to the top. You know, let's travel up there and see what we got. If we yes. don't, we, we remember what this one looks like. We can do this one here for now. And there's a lot of room for the, on the left and on the right. We can build a concrete reservoir to hold it. Um, let's try to get up this hill, Dave. Holy cow, you're amazing. Best mountain climber I ever did see. Holy crap, this goes forever. Whew. All right, so finally made it to the top. It doesn't do anything. It must definitely be a spring because there's no water anywhere up here. This is like an old logging road that they had a long, long time ago. Ah, look at that. I think maybe here. But I can definitely, definitely see water coming out right here. So let's get down here and check it out. Nice, look at that. All right, so let's move this. It's wet, it's wet. Water's coming. There's water coming through. So it starts, it starts around here. So right there is the first place where we see dripping water. And we can... And right over there, we see flowing water. And the second part is flowing water. So I can probably dam up from here across that stone up to this tree up here with concrete and fill this up with probably maybe seven or eight hundred gallons of water and that'll be some be quite pressure I mean that goes down quite a ways I mean the first drop alone is 30 or 40 foot and then all the way to that all right all right, careful, you got a mosquito on your neck. Get him. You got it, good job. So we got about, probably. That was a beetle. Oh, probably 200, I'd say, somewhere around there. 200 foot. So this will be the first well, pro well, this will be the first spring project. There are, like I said, probably 10 of these all up and down the, 10 of them all up and down the darn valley. So we'll check it out. All right, so there it is. Yes. 